Today's adventure begins at a gas station. As I fuel up the Tacoma to go across the state of Massachusetts, I have some video and photography work that I need to do over the course of the next two days. Figure tonight, do a little truck camping. The shoot went well. It was a lot of fun. I actually had a blast doing it. Now I'm off to the campground. I booked a campsite for the night, not too far from where I was shooting. So I'm about like 10 minutes away now. I'll probably be there in 10 minutes. Thirsty. All right. Oh, it was a long day. Long day of traveling. Long day of filming. I packed myself a sandwich, and I didn't have a chance to eat it. So I'm gonna have a, a pre-dinner before I have dinner. Hmm. That's really damn good. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the truck. If you're new here, this is my 1998 Tacoma. I'm not too sure what high cap topper is on here, but if you know, let me know because I'd love to find out. But it's uh, made for this truck. I've got it somewhat kitted out to go camping. I haven't built any like permanent storage or any sort of bed frame or anything like that. I use this truck bed a lot and me and my girlfriend are gonna be moving soon so I can't have like a whole bed frame set up. That will be down the road, but for now this is what it looks like. Starting from the most outside is the solar panel. It's a Renogy 50 watt. It's tied up to this Wanderer solar controller with a 750 watt Synwave inverter. And then I've got a deep cycle battery in there. It does pretty well. I'm probably gonna be needing a bigger panel at some point, but for now it charges my lights, my cell phone, my laptop camera. Here is my Coleman one burner. I do have a smaller little stove that I use. So basically between the two, I can get most dinners or meals cooked. I've got a cooler here, self-explanatory. Got some food in there. Water, I didn't bring a whole lot this time. I mean, probably more than I need, but this thing will hold probably like 10 to 12 gallons of water. My bed, first thing I did was lay down this moving blanket just as a base layer. And then underneath that, I have my yoga mat, followed by a piece of Reflectix, followed by an air mattress that I still need to put air into. My sleeping bag. And lastly, this blanket. The sleeping bag is honestly more for comfort to lay on top of. It's really hot. It's probably like, I don't know, 80 degrees right now and like 90% humidity. So I'm gonna probably sleep on top of that and just use the blanket. Outside of that, I've got some LEDs running around the top here that are tied directly into the inverter. Uh, it's cool, it's got two little power outlets on it right there and then one just for USB. So the lights just go right into USB and I can change the color and set the mood and do all the things. The uh, curtains here, these are homemade. Basically I have a curtain here, here. I have one for the back here, here. And I have one that comes down, as you can see, for the uh, back glass. And then I basically, because I don't have a carpeted or lined topper, I had to use some like 3M sticky hooks to um, hold up the curtain rods. And then underneath that, I've got these spring clamps just holding them snug up against the topper so they don't hang down quite as much. I'm gonna cook up uh, some leftover kind of like Mexican chili that I have. I've got some brown rice that I'm gonna make. My um, idiot self forgot to bring a bigger pan. So I'm actually just gonna be cooking everything with this, unfortunately, which means I need to, well, only use one stove, no need for the second one. And I'm just gonna to have to cook the rice first because, because that's gonna take the longest. And then uh, we'll heat up the chili because it's already made. Should only take a few minutes to heat up. And 
while that rice is doing its thing, I forgot to show you guys around the campsite. This is it. It's pretty straightforward, not a lot of privacy actually. The main road is right here. There's just no tree coverage or anything, but I'm kind of like tucked behind these trees here. And uh, I've got a fire pit, looks like a standing grill, a picnic table. That's very nice. Again, no privacy between the sites, which is, you know, not ideal, but I'm lucky that I'm the only one here. So I kind of have like these two sites all to myself. The only thing I didn't bring with me was bug spray and, or, or firewood. Usually, I don't, I don't like bug spray. Typically I'll make a fire if I'm camping and the smoke will kind of dissipate the, uh, the mosquitoes, but just after I set the camera down, this wind kind of picked up, which has been lovely. All the mosquitoes have been kind of blown away temporarily. So I know we're supposed to get some pretty heavy rain tonight, which should be interesting. So we'll see how that goes. And if I stay nice and dry in this, in this cap tonight. I think the rice is just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it into this. This is beef, tomatoes, jalapenos, onions, and it's green pepper. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Seasoned with like turmeric, cayenne, salt, pepper, some other stuff. Oh, uh, and most important is a bunch of cilantro. Before I ate dinner, uh, I was gonna set up my fan, which I'm gonna set aside for now because I was actually, you guys can't see it, but there, well, yeah, no, you guys can't see it. I actually set up a bug net, like a bug screen. No, a bug net, that's a proper t proper terminology. Um, I just basically clamped it around the edge and I have the uh, tailgate glass tilted up. So right now I've got both of my side windows open and then also this back one. And actually, also this one over here is open. Uh, so I just need to set up the fan and get some really nice airflow going through here. Good morning, folks. Um, yeah, it definitely rained quite a bit last night, uh, but it sounded pretty nice out the topper everything's looking pretty pretty a-okay out there this morning For breakfast this morning, we have some fresh cut pineapple brought from home. And then obviously just made up a pot of coffee with the French press. And then over here, I've got some oatmeal sitting. Uh, Jenna actually recently taught me that once you pour the water, don't touch it. Just let it sit and chill. And then it gets really like, it just gets to be perfect oatmeal. Yeah. After breakfast, I gotta go ahead and get the Tacoma all put away, get the solar put back in, clean up from breakfast, and then uh, I gotta head over to work. I'm gonna be doing, not video today, but photography. I've got some product shots I need to do, so once I get over to the warehouse, I need to get my backdrop set up, my lighting, and then uh, it's just product shots at that point, so pretty easy, but I'm um, looking forward to this breakfast, and then I gotta kinda hightail it out of here, get over to work, and then uh, hopefully later on, get this Tacoma back home. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but 
Oh, yeah. Sounds like gunshots. I think there's like a firing range somewhere over there, so... one of these sites up here by the water but looking at the water it's just covered in like algae and green so that makes me think that it would have been extremely buggy over here not to mention no one's camping over here for probably a reason well on the way to work some chill stuff happened and some not so chill stuff happened the chill stuff that happened was I was able to charge up the new lights for uh, for work. The not so chill thing is my coffee spilled. And uh, I think fortunately the floor mat saved most of it, but <sighs> back in the taco, work is finished. All the photos were taken. Video from yesterday is ready to be edited. Feel good, a lot of progress done. Had a good night sleeping in the truck. So uh, now I just gotta head on home and make it the uh, like three hour drive back. I did not figure that I would be doing some mild off-roading on my way home. This is normally like a 40 mile an hour highway and it's it was the first time I've ever seen like a state road sign that was spray painted and said drive at your own risk. Like I'm not even on a back road, it's just a main road. Imagine if I was still daily driving the Prelude. This is the route I would take home and I wouldn't have been able to take it. I would have had to go like probably 10 to 20 miles back to take a different route around. Wow. <laughs> Good thing for the Tacoma.